Give me kisses. Give me kisses. Mm -hmm. Hugs. Hi, friends. Good morning. Good afternoon, wherever you're coming from. Vinny and I are here to talk to you about how you're feeling and if you're satisfied with how you're feeling. Are you satisfied with how you're feeling? Yeah. Good. Ooh. I like turtles. You like turtles? Yeah. <laughs> I like turtles, too. You got a dinosaur on them, don't you? Um, so, as I get ready here this morning, I was wanting to talk to you guys about something that kind of came on my mind here. Um, you know, how are you feeling and are you satisfied with how you're feeling? Um, a lot of times we have control um, over how we're going to, how we're going to, well, let me take that back. I don't know. We, we, we can, we have a choice. We have a choice of how we're going to act. We may not always have control over how we're going to act and how we're going to, we're going to show up and how we're going to respond. And if you can relate to that, drop me, um, I can relate <laughs> in the comments. Um, I was reading something today in my books as I was, you know, starting my day and doing the things that I do about um, how we have so much inside us that is like regressed and repressed and so many of us don't even recognize it. And if you can relate to kind of living on autopilot, then drop me an autopilot in the comments below. Um, because I recognize that a lot of times um, we do this. We will get stuck in a particular old path or pattern or what have you. Um, I had this really good comment today that I read and I just stuck it on there um, on, on the beginning of the thing, on the title, wherever, about you know how it said that a lot of times as humans, we will have... Um, have these things come up in us that we don't even recognize that are old patterns of behavior and that cause issues in our life. And a lot of times we just get stuck and don't recognize that, hey, wait a minute, I can flip this off or there's something that I can do to help myself. Um, I was studying about, um, because I've always studied because I was, I'm ugh, getting stuck here. So many subjects here, but I study because I don't know, and I think that a lot of times, you know, and it seems like the more you know, the more you discover how little you know, and if you can relate to that, then say, yeah, I totally get that, because I am a curious person, and I like to figure things out, um, and I like to do it for myself, uh, and it's always nice if you have um, people that surround you that can help guide you in those ways, but... Not everybody digs deep in themselves and tries to decide, okay, is, is this something that I can, something I can change? Is this something I'm comfortable with? You know, a lot of times we might be feeling bad, but then we're not willing to take the steps that it takes to make ourselves feel better. A lot of times it's easier for us to put the blame off onto somebody else, um, you know, and say, well, this happened because, and are this, you know, you did this to me and I'm feeling this way because blah, blah, blah. And if you can relate to the fact that it's kind of really easy to put the blame off on somebody else, that's okay. That's not a bad thing. At least you're recognizing it, that you can do that, that you do do that. But recognize that, you know what, we don't heal unless we want to. And we have to address all the crap in our lives if we want to get better. You know, a lot of the times we have the power within us. And um, we just need to make that choice whether or not we are going to invest in ourselves and take our power back instead of giving it away to all the BS that we have in life. You know, we've got so many things going on constantly. I know myself, I'm bombarded with so much and... I have to try to keep everything in control because that's what we do, right? We control our environment, our things. At least we try to. Um, so I just want to invite you to recognize that, that, you know, if you're not happy where you're at, you've got a choice. You can do something about it, but you need to really be accountable. You know, we can't push it off are healing off on other people and say, okay, I want to get better, but you got to do it for me. You know, the fact of the matter is a lot of our choices that we made in our life 
got us to where we're at. Whether or not we recognize them is another thing. You know, we do things unconsciously and a lot of that unconsciousness is a lot of, of old programming. I was recently reading a book, um, the drama of um, the gifted child. I don't know if you guys have ever read this before. I've had this on my book for many years and hadn't really cracked into it even though I knew I needed to or wanted to. My gut was calling me to. So we cracked into it today and we were looking at it. And if you've read it, then um, then then let me know that you've read it. But there was kind of something that stuck out to me um, here that I kind of wanted to read to you. I gotta quit saying that. I will quit saying that. Um, but a person with unsatisfied or unconscious, it's 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 repressed. Um, and we look for gratification in in substitute means. Uh, so we ignore our history. And I think that there are so many of us that try to find things outside ourselves to fill that hole, that, that little bit that's not feeling good. Like, um, you know, you know you're uneasy, so what are you going to do? Are you going to go grab a beer or, um, you know, a glass of wine or you're going to have a cigarette or whatever it is. Go smoke a bowl, whatever it is that you do that makes you feel better, that, that helps push it off. A lot of people will do that because it's sometimes it's easier. And unfortunately, in our society, we have kind of that instant gratification mindset where we think that we want to have instant breakthroughs and instant feel better. But we don't didn't get to where we're at instantly. You know, it took time. And so it's going to take some time to unwind. But I just want to encourage you that whatever you set your mind to, you can do. And if that's healing, you can do that too. We can do that. We have ways now. There are holistic, scientifically backed things that we can do to take our power back. We do not have to live in regression. We do not have to live outside ourselves. We do not have to continually try to find a band-aid solution to fix us. You don't have to live with migraines. You don't have to live with stomach upsets. You don't have to live with joint pain. There's so much that we can do to help ourselves. But that's the key. We need to do it to help ourselves. We need to first recognize the fact that we are worthy of helping ourselves and that we can. So hopefully I can just instill a little bit of love in you right now and, and encourage you to love on yourself and to know that the only way that we can heal is, like I've always said, we've got to address things. But first enough, just be brave enough to recognize that we hold the power. We do. We hold the power to, to do whatever we want to do. And if we want to stay stuck in our paths, our sick paths, that we may not have known, you know, you do better when you learn better. And so I'm trying to help you learn better as I learn better. I'm sharing with you um, so that you can, you can too, break free from all of the crap, you know. But if you're not feeling good, guys, you don't have to stay not feeling good. There's a lot of things that we can do to help ourselves. And, you know, I was telling you yesterday, I kind of got in a funky little zone because I missed a couple of things that I normally do to help myself. <laughs> Hello. So they, we have, like I was saying, scientifically um, holistic things that we can do to help ourselves that get it all in alignment that help us so that we don't have to run to the patch of whatever it is pharmaceuticals or whatever it is that you're substituting right now instead of taking yourself and putting yourself first and that's a whole thing too within self-care we got to recognize that we are responsible for this you know if we continue to push it off and shove it off on somebody else then we can continue to have this problem this problem is going to burst up somewhere else you know you can shove it down you can cover it up you can do whatever you want but it will spill out somewhere else in your life and if you can relate to that then you know comment that you know what i got an issue here maybe you're embarrassed to comment you know maybe it you don't you don't want to be seen maybe you don't want to show up for yourself yet but i hope that you do i hope that this encourages you i hope that um that you're filled with hope that you know that you can change, that you can get through anything, um, you know. So I just want to ask you, you know, how are you feeling? And are you comfortable with how you're feeling? Or are you ready to put yourself first and do something to help you grow and get out of whatever it is that you're in? Whether it might just be, you know, if it is illness or if it's just an uncomfortability, we do not have to live in stress. We do not have to live in fear. And we do not have to live sick. We can do things to help ourselves. 
And so I wanted to just invite you um, to come along and join me on my journey. It's never ending, right? We continue to always grow and get better. And um, my husband and I, I was talking to you about it, we're doing, um, our reboot is coming soon in just a few days. In fact, then there's a whole group that is going to be doing it together, which is so fun because it makes life easier when you've got people that you can lean on and cheer you on and, and lift you up, right? Because there's enough people that are already shutting people down and feeling bad and, sh you know, all over people. We don't need those kind of people in our lives. I want to invite you to lift yourself higher. Um, you know, raise your, raise your ambitions, raise your level of friends, raise your level of interest, take, take an interest in yourselves and really let's rock it. Let's rock it. So if that sounds good to you, drop me a, a reboot in the comments, or if you don't know what a reboot is, say, Sabrina, I'd like to know more about that. But yeah, I'm definitely ready to get off of this roller coaster and invest in myself. And it's not even, you know, it's not even a huge investment guys. It's just little things that you can do every single day to help yourself. Like for me, my supplements rule my life because they have helped me change everything. And it's beautiful the way our bodies are designed and what we can do to fix them. So, mm. I laugh or say you. What else was I going to tell you guys? There was so much, but I want to keep this short so that you guys don't get bored, right? So, anyways, I love you. I hope this encouraged you. If you're ready to get serious about your life, taking some responsibility and some accountability. I'm here to help you. It's not as difficult as you may think it is. And it doesn't have to be drastic. It's whatever you can do. But I wanna encourage you to do something for yourself and do it right now. Live today. You should be enjoying your life. We're meant to live. We're meant to enjoy life. We're meant to have life in abundance until it overflows, right? So. I want you guys to have that. Um, we deserve it. You deserve it. So look at me in my mood. I didn't wake up like this, guys. Uh, it takes effort, you know, so and, and training over over the years and over the days. But I just want to encourage you to know that, that you can achieve anything that you desire to achieve. You don't have to stay stuck. You don't have to stay sick. You don't have to stay whatever it is that you're doing. You don't have to continue to poison your body in whatever means that you are and trying to feel good. Know that we can undo the programming and we can do better. As we learn better, we do better, right? So I want to encourage you not to push off and say that whatever's going on with you is somebody else's fault. Um, you know, I want to encourage you to accept the challenge that's in front of you, whatever it is, and say, okay, you know what? I've got this and I can handle it. And if you don't feel like you can handle it yet, reach out to me so that I can empower you so that you can handle it with ease. <sighs> All right. I love you. Wherever you guys are at, wherever you are in your journey, this is not meant to condemn you. This is meant to inspire you and empower you and just to know that it's possible. Look, I did it, guys. I love looking back on my Facebook memories and all the other things and just seeing how I used to be, how tough life used to be for me. Um, and I love that I'm doing this because I'm helping my children by doing this, by facing the things that are hard and being accountable and responsible you know, to myself for myself, I'm able to make it better for my children. So whatever drama that I had in my childhood that made me who I am today, which is fine because I'm comfortable with who I am, right? I didn't give up and I will never give up. I've got big goals, big dreams, and I'm not even halfway there yet. But I'm doing awesome and I'm proud of that. And I want you guys to have the same thing. I want you to live in joy. So and healthily right so know that we can do that holistically empowered right okay hopefully this encouraged you if you caught me live please put hashtag live and if you're catching this on the replay please put hashtag replay because that's helpful for me um yeah and if there's anything else just reach out to me okay let's chat about it let's do this together you're not alone and everything is possible well yeah right but where are we going to focus our energy Let's focus on healing. Let's focus on power. Let's focus on empowerment. Because I just want you to love yourselves, guys. We need to love ourselves. 
if we can't love ourselves, we can't love other people. So it really, really, really begins within. So I just want to ask you guys, you know, to, to evaluate how you're feeling. And if you're happy that way, and if you're not happy that way, know that you can do something about it. Okay. And I'm here to help you. So don't feel like you're alone. Okay. I've got a fantastic community of people. Um, and we've got products and platforms and whatever you could possibly think of that you might need um, in order to lift you up and get to that next level. We can do it. Teamwork, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. But you need to start within. All right. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. If this had value, drop value for me. Okay. Toodles for now. Have a super day. Bye. Thanks for watching.